Hi guys, my name is Chloe. Uh, as you may or may not know, this is my mom's YouTube channel, but I've agreed to help her out by making some more videos. Um, in this one, I'm going to be teaching you how to make these horns if you're into cosplay. So enjoy! This is Bandit Princess from Adventure Time. Um, she is the character I'm going to be cosplaying next, and as you can see, her horns are what I'll be making now. This is her in the season finale, and one of my favorite YouTubers, Uncivilized Elk, um, theorized that her horns were inspired by this particular breed of cattle. Okay, here's everything you'll be needing, and let's get started. Okay, so I drew that line on the paper there, um, because I rolled it and I got it to the right width that I wanted it to be, so now you just glue it and staple it together. Next step is taking two um, rolls of cardboard and cutting them in half and sticking them together because you're going to need something a little bit wider than just a normal roll. The last bit of cardboard you'll need is just a single roll and you just make two cuts almost to the bottom but not all the way and then glue and uh, glue it together and then tape it together. Please excuse me dancing to the music in the background. <laughs> So my horns are a little bit straighter and not as curved as Bandit Princess's, but as I mentioned, I like the look of the horns on that breed of cattle that it's theorized her horns or base uh, were inspired by because they look a lot like them. One thing that's important with cosplay is adjusting it to your own interpretation, um, making it a way that you can enjoy um, showing your personal style through it, and just um, doing it in a way that you feel most comfortable with. I like to make everything look as realistic as possible, so I change it up a lot if it comes from an animation like Adventure Time. 
these holes I'm making are for the elastic that I'm going to put through and that is what is going to hold them on my head. So it's really starting to come together and now I can add the felt. I'm just going to roll it until the one side meets the other. And then I'm going to line that up so I can cut it out. Don't be afraid to add some glue, it's really going to help the felt to stay in place and it won't really show through because felt is pretty thick. Um, also we're going to be painting over the felt anyway. Once all the corners are meeting, you can cut out all the excess. And now it's ready for you to sew those corners together. brown, black and white. Um, the colours of her horn are mostly grey but it's got like a warm undertone so I thought I would add some brown in. Also I'm going to make it look a little bit more like the horns of the cattle. So I'm going to give it that little rustic vibe. a little marking where each colour should change uh, or fade into the next before you start painting.
Oh my gosh, so it's done. I'm just doing my touch-ups now and then I'm going to leave it to dry for a little bit. Check the paint on my sleeve. I should have worn a different shirt. And this is the final result. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye guys!